All right, hello. Uh, yeah, so this uh, Photoshop tutorial is going to be about how to set your uh, set up your spread for your portfolio in Photoshop. So uh, start with create new. Now your spread is essentially two pages um, put together in one whole page. Um, so if you want to do eight and a half by eleven uh per page you're gonna have to double this so this is gonna be eight and a half by 22 and uh, let me go ahead and uh, name this Red template. And so I'm just creating a template that I can use over and over again. Uh, since you guys are going to essentially print these out, again, the resolution 300, CMYK 16 bit. Uh, you can go ahead with the white background. If you decide to change the background, you could always add another layer. Um, and then hit create. I'm going to zoom out, control minus, and I'm going to bring some guidelines in. I'm going to go ahead and drag them in, and I am going to get them as close to quarter inch as possible. And that's fine. I can get more precise, and um, if you can see where it says 0.24, that's close enough. If you're one of those people that need to be exact, um, you can zoom in and adjust these afterwards. But right now, let's just get it close. Okay, so I like to uh, do this border. Again, when you go to a Repographics place and you get this printed out, they're going to say within the these quarter inch boundaries on, on all the edges, they, they, you know, information might get chopped off. Now, if you have a picture that bleeds all the way over here and it's on this side, there's really not, you know, pertinent information um, and it's okay if a little bit gets chopped off. And then you gotta let them know that. You gotta let your Ripographics place know that. Um, I also like to put in a guideline right in the middle. See how it's kind of snapping right there in the middle? And I also put a quarter inch on each side. And I do that because of the binding. Now the binding depending on what kind of binding you have, uh, typically will punch holes in this area. And within this area here, you might have a series of holes that will punch through. So it, if pictures bleed all the way over through, you know, all the way up to here and you know, they're punching holes through here. You know, it might not really matter much, but if you have text in this area, it's gonna punch out, you know, a significant amount of lettering and you'll lose information. That's pretty important. And so this is how I set it up. Um, and then I go from there. And so I, I'll file, uh, save as, and I'll save this as a portfolio spread template. PSD is the standard Photoshop working file. So you could save it as that right now. Uh, let me go ahead and save this to the desktop. You, you, I mean, you have your own uh, place where you're gonna save it, um, save it accordingly. Um, if you're gonna do something like this, Uh, I would 
do I like to make folders to leave myself um, kind of like breadcrumbs and I'll show you what I mean so go to my desktop and right here portfolio so this is my template spread I can always open this and save it as something else and I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna close Photoshop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a folder for every page so this is the cover page and what I'm gonna do is go here open up the template and I'm gonna save as cover page within the cover page uh, folder that I made so file save as uh, back up go right here to cover page and change the name to cover the uh, portfolio cover page and hit save make sure it's PSD this is the working file if you save it in any other format you won't be able to adjust anything um, you'll have all your layers and everything uh, good to go uh, so save it in PSD save and now this is my my portfolio uh, my portfolio cover page um, and I'm going to do this with every single page um, you know I can label page one page two and then I'll make a folder page one page two or if this is going to be my information spread where I'll have my um, my name the school that I'm applying for uh, the year that I'm applying for right here uh, you know maybe an architectural statement here uh, it, it really just depends on, on how I want to design this but anyway this is how you create a template and this is how you get started definitely um, get organized in how you want to um, start saving your files. Um, you know, I always like to do um, one folder per per spread. Um, anyway, so I can go on and on. That is. Um, that in a nutshell anyway all right um, that's all I got for this one again this is just a, a quick how to uh, create a template for your portfolio the sizes of your portfolio don't necessarily have to be eight and a half eleven eight and a half by eleven by most schools um, but that's just the max so you can do it smaller uh, I, I always recommend students do smaller because um, it's different most people will turn in this and any little differences can help all right thank you